Hi, Nana. Yeah, well, I think ditching them completely, obviously not, because they are a, a kind of a tool in the armory in terms of managing the kind of our way through the, the pandemic that we've seen in the past. You know, it was only several months back, actually, the Americans thought they weren't uh, good enough. But, you know, I've seen many people who are doing the lateral flow test. They then go on to get a PCR test and the PCR test comes positive. But I think what we... We've got to really look at where are we in this pandemic. So at the moment, the number of patients kind of in critical care in England is actually lower than what it was pre-pandemic. It was massively higher last uh, last January, but at the moment it's slightly lower. So, you know, we know Omicron's the dominant variant in the UK. The the, the positive thing with Omicron now is it's starting to kind of kill off the, the, the previous variants, which were, were more deadly. So as we go forward now in the pandemic, there's going to become that point where you know, we cannot continue to test indefinitely forever. The main purpose of all the testing, obviously, was to stop people kind of mixing and ending up with people who are going to be more vulnerable. We've got the vast majority of the population now have had kind of booster vaccines who were in the most vulnerable category. So, you know, I think there comes that point that in the future, we can't continue to test from now until the end of, you know, end of 2030. 